welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is uh, the Five of Pentacles, um, or the Five of Earth in this deck, and it's Mercury in um, Taurus. And this is about, uh, you know, being very focused on your work or focused on your personal finances, but also feeling like you're being very manipulated at work. So, you know, maybe people are doing things uh, and, um, you know, this is distressing you because you're having to just toe the line or you're having to listen to other people and you're having to do what they want you to do rather than um, given free reign on, on, on your own um, career. So you are feeling very manipulated and very trapped. Now, Mercury in um, Taurus is about focusing a lot on that personal finances and focusing a lot on work. So you are very, very focused on work, but you are feeling very manipulated in it. So it looks like you started something brand new uh, recently with this Child, this Innocence card. This is the Page of um, Cups. So this is, um, you know, having started uh, something brand new that you really enjoy. So you do enjoy this work. But you are feeling as though people are manipulating you quite a bit. And there's a lot of problems going on around you. You are protecting yourself, keeping to yourself, really. Uh, but it looks like, you know, there's a little bit of turmoil going on around you with those seas around you. So it's, it's, uh, there, maybe there are people around you causing a lot of disturbances or emotional problems. Now you've got the Lilith card, which is the power card, which is the emperor card. And this is... You uh, need to take control of that situation. You need to show them your power. This is the sign of Aries. So this is about taking personal power back and showing them how much you can do, that you're bigger than this particular situation. So instead of allowing people to manipulate you, you need to take back that authority and that power. Um, and maybe you're going to be getting a position uh, of authority or power uh, where you know, you're know you not going to be uh, the person that's being manipulated. So. Uh, once you show them what you're capable of, so this is woman is displaying her wings and she's showing that this is the sun behind her, so that's lighting her up. Once you show that you're a force to be reckoned with, it looks like, you know, power comes back into your hands over here and you're not being manipulated by everybody. So just be aware that, you know, there are people, are, I'm sure you are, that people are trying to get you to do things that you're not very, very happy doing. Uh, and this is causing, this might be causing a bit of distress for you. So uh, in the past, you have the uh, seven of earth, which is investing in things that didn't work out. It's, in this deck, it's called the failure card. You had Saturn in Taurus. So very restricted financial, um, a very restricted financial situation, maybe financial loss, maybe things that you invested in did not pay off. You can see this tree is quite bare. So what you expected to come to you did not come to you and uh, you didn't get any payoff or maybe you even lost your job. This is quite a, a difficult card. It, it's a very stark card. And you felt very lonely, very isolated, and very poverty-stricken as well because of this particular card. And, you know, it's it says failure. So you did feel as though everything around you, as far as finances goes, was failing. Then you've got the centering card over here. So this is... Um, um, Mars in Aries. So this is, you've, it seems like you've taken back your uh, personal power. This is having faced a decision and made a decision because this is what has happened, energies that happened in the past. So it looks like once you went through that period of absolute loss and absolute failure, you seem to have made some kind of decision where you have taken your power back and power has come back into your hand over here. And with Mars in Aries, it's taking back that personal power and being, you know, very focused on what you want. So going to the future, you've got the Sorceress card over here and the Confusion card over here. Now, everything you have, uh, everything you need, you have to be able to succeed. This is the Magician card, so this is Mercury, and this is, you know, you're going to be very, very busy soon. You're going to be multitasking, a lot of communication, maybe a lot of travel, uh, you know, and you're going to be happy. You're going to have to manipulate the situation in order for you to be successful in it. You've got the confusion card over here. So this is Mercury. Uh, this is um, Jupiter in Gemini. And Gemini is ruled by Mercury over here. So there's a bit of mental confusion going on over here, feeling a bit restricted. The Eight of Swords, uh, this is usually what this card stands for, it talks about being, you know, um, restricted by other people, being feeling very stuck in the situation, and, you know, it, it being a very difficult situation. So there's a lot of confusion going on, a lot of um, stress and anxiety that you're facing at this particular moment. Jupiter always amplifies things over here, so you, you might be going through excessive stress and excessive um, 
uh, you know, there might be a lot of deadlines. Uh, you've got a lot of people putting a lot of pressure on you as well. And this is causing a lot of anxiety. So just know that you have everything you need to be able to cope with this particular situation. And try not to let the mental pressures get to you. You know, take a holiday or take some kind of mental break. And find a different way of dealing with that situation. Because once you take control of it with this uh, Emperor card or the Power card, Lilith, you will be able to sort through things and rise above it. And you can do things that are superhuman almost with this card. You can see this um, uh, woman's got legs and wings. So, you know, you, you'll be able to soar above that situation and overcome any kind of obstacle. So those are the energies for that particular week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Manga Tarot. And this is for the general read. So the first card is that uh, Prince of Wands. Now, generally, the Prince of Wands is about, you know, starting a new job in a new place and even moving, doing a lot of travel. And you can see you have been a, a very, very centered, very, very focused, despite all the drama that's been going on around you. So this is you taking back your power because you have managed to focus and look within yourself for, um, for the strength. Uh, so you could be starting a new job somewhere or moving on to do a new job somewhere else. You could be traveling a lot. And there's a lot of international communication that you're dealing with as well. But you're managing to, to get a rise above it. You're standing alone, so there's not much support from everybody else. And it's a very dramatic situation around. You can see there's a lot of fire going on around. But you're managing to focus and maintain your balance. So you are managing to um, you know, conquer that situation because of your focus. So you've got the uh, Three of Swords and it's crossed by the Chariot. So it looks like there was some very, very difficult situation that you went through. Uh, you can see this man sitting here and uh, standing here and crying. He's standing in the rain all by himself and crying. So you went through a very, very difficult situation that really brought you to tears. And you, you, know, you may have been uh, betrayed by a lot of people as well. There might have been three people that you were dealing with as well. And you can see all the trees are bare. So there was a lot of financial loss as well that you went through. So you are coming out of that situation. You've got the chariot card, and this is victory over that situation. So you can see uh, this man is being carried by these two people. So you are being victorious. You're rising above that situation, and you are taking control. He's got that sword raised above his head over there. So he is uh, got his focus. His willpower is intact. And, uh, you know, that's what's happening with you and also speaking his truth and taking control, taking charge. Now, both these cards, the chariot card and the prince of one is about movement. So you might be planning on traveling or planning on relocating and starting afresh somewhere new. The chariot card is maybe also buying a new home, or buying a new car. So you are thinking about, uh, you know, investing in something new and you are thinking of moving. So it looks like there's some kind of movement and it's to get away from that difficult situation that you went through. So you're moving away from it. Something is taking you away from the loss that you went through. You're getting over all that drama because you're managing to focus your energies, focus yourself, and it looks like you're going to be very, very victorious in that particular, uh, in the new job or that new situation that you're coming, taking yourself into. So you've got the King of Pentacles over here in the last year. So this is being focused on whatever you wanted. And this is about being in, in, um, in a leadership position and getting you know, very focused on your work. And getting, uh, you know, over uh, the difficult financial problems that you went through. You might be now in a, in a kind of a, a position of leadership as well uh, with this King of Pentacles. And this is about focusing on your personal finances and getting things sorted out as far as uh, money goes. <coughs> You're going to have enough for you to invest as well. This is what's happened in the last year. Now, you've got the death card over here. So whatever difficult situation, uh, you have now seen the light and you are moving on. So maybe somebody showed you um, how to get out of the situation, but it seems like you've left the past behind. You've ended that particular situation and you moved on. So you might have been in a very, very uh, good job where you were very stable and something happened where that ended that particular situation. And that led to this heartbreak and loss. This is what seems to have happened. 
whatever you were, and you were very, very financially independent, you were very focused on your work, uh, you, you were very, very much in control, but it looks like the death card has come in, so something happened uh, where you had to leave that particular situation and walk away from it. Uh, maybe you were let go from that job, or you know, you've know you uh, quit your job, or you could have lost your job itself. So uh, that caused a lot of heartbreak and a lot of problems. But now it looks like you're going to get something brand new. You're going to move on. It looks like maybe you're going to be moving or doing the same job somewhere else. It looks like you have been dealing. Whatever that situation was, it was very dramatic, and there was a lot of um, negativity. There was uh, you know, a lot of drama that went on there. So what's in your mind? You've got the Six of Pentacles, and this is you, uh, you uh, maybe you need some kind of financial assistance after going through loss, but this is also about wanting money to come in. So with the Six of Pentacles, you're waiting for some kind of payoff to come in as well. So there might have been some kind of settlement that came in because you've lost that job or you had to let, be let go from that job. Now you've got the Ace of Wands over there, so something brand new beginning as well. So a new cycle beginning for you, uh, a, new, um, a new endeavor, something... Um, you know, um, a new phase of your life starting off uh, with this Ace of Wands, and that's coming in for you. So all of this is in the past, and now you're going to be begin something brand new. You've got the Priest over here, so you're waiting for things to come. There's some information that needs to come to you. Um, there might even be some further study on uh, for you. So you might need to do some kind of a refresher course or some kind of um, further study in order for you to achieve your goals. But you are waiting uh, for things to come to you waiting for things to change. Uh, this is also receiving some kind of guidance. You need to go and ask for some, ask somebody for some help or some kind of information um, that you need in order for you to um, succeed. The, the High Priestess or the Priest card is about also spending a lot of time by yourself. Maybe you are doing a lot of self-reflection and trying to come up with the answers, uh, digging deep within yourself. So the, you do have the answers on what you want to do. You need to be able to put that into action. You've got the Queen of Swords over here, so this is being very determined to get things done. Uh, so you are taking control of that situation. This is your card, and um, the card that rules Aquarius. So you need to speak your truth. Uh, it seems like you know, you're doing it by yourself with no support from anybody else, and this is coming through a difficult period uh, and managing to get through it, uh, despite the difficulties, and turning your back on things that happened to you in the past. So you are going to be able to get that control back or get that power back, and you're are going to be able to express what you need. And it's also a card of taking leadership and control um, of that situation and being very logical in how you deal with things. You've got that nine of pentacles over here in your hopes and fears, so you want finances to come in. Uh, you know, you are going all out to make things happen for yourself. Uh, and you are trying to generate as much finances as you can possibly do, uh, given the circumstances that you have been through. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Cups over here, and the six, uh, the Nine of Cups. So this is pretty good. This looks like a new job opportunity, new work coming in for you. Now you've got that Ace of Wands, a new project coming in for you, but also the Ace of Pentacles, new money coming in, a new job, a change in that financial situation. So things are looking up. And you've got the Six of Cups over here, so you might be running into somebody from the past or maybe going back to an old job that you did with the Six of Cups. Um, this is like revisiting the past or the past re-emerging. So something from the past coming in uh, to take you out of it, out of the situation. And this could be a job offer that is coming in because the Six of Cups is also about a job offer coming in for you that's going to bring a lot of growth. You've got these cups filled with flowers and you might be meeting up with somebody that you've worked with in the past and they're going to be the person that gives you that offer for new money or a new job. Or maybe they show you how to go about getting this new job, but there's some information that they have that you need. This could be also somebody from the family giving you some advice in telling you how to go about, uh, you know, establishing this new job or this new money or this change in this financial situation. You've got the nine of cups of year, and this is that wish fulfillment and being very satisfied. So you are going to, you know, once this person gives you this advice, or you're going to get everything that you want. You're going to be um, achieving all that you need. These cups are filling up over here. So you can see there's uh, that emotional fulfillment coming in and, you know, uh, being very satisfied and very happy and very comfortable. So it looks like things are going to work out for you and because the spread ends with the Nine of Cups and it looks like you're going to get what you want. Um, so although you have been through so many difficulties, it seems like, you know, you are coming out of it because you are very determined. You are, you are not letting fate work for you. You are doing it for yourself and it looks like you are going to achieve with that Nine of Pentacles. Sorry, the Nine of Cups at the end. This is that achievement, wish fulfillment card.
That's an excellent card to end on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Guardian Angel Tarot for Advice. Um, and this is the message of abundance, wonderful uh, news regarding your career, a new job, a promotion, acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation might involve someone who's fun to be around with and sometimes mischievous. Um, mischievous. So um, it's now time for you to be um, optimistic and you are clearly very, very clever. They say so this is um you know abundance so some kind of message coming in uh, for you so some kind of opportunity coming in for you so you've got the guardian of emotion over here that says this situation requires emotional maturity and total trust you are surrounded by those uh, who have only your best interests at heart so you can rely on the advice given challenges will be resolved this card indicates a generous generous humanitarian and a refined person who you can completely depend on so it looks like there's somebody out there that's going to be there to support you and and there's some advice that is also coming in for you uh, that is very important and you do need to take it. So it looks like some news coming in and then there's some advice that you need to take as well. And the final card is the heel of abundance. Never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation involves a person who's down to earth with a gift of design and decorating. She, he or she is open-minded or nurturing, and this could be you. So you are healing from these, these financial problems. All these cards, well, these two cards are about abundance, and you've got some kind of uh, good sound uh, advice coming in for you. So it looks like, you know, whatever financial problems, you are healing from it, and there's looks it, it seems like there's some kind of message coming in, some kind of new offer coming in. There's also this advice that you do need to accept and listen to, and it's going to help you overcome any challenges that you are facing. So all in all, it looks like your financial situation is about to change right now, and it's changing for the positive. And like I said, there's some kind of advice, some kind of offer coming in over here, something that somebody from the past brings in for you that's going to make your life turn for the better and, and allow you to have your wishes fulfilled. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.